One of the special pages that we have added is a services or products page, and the reason we've added this and we already have a packages and pricing page is that sometimes you might want to just give a bit more information about your products or services without actually having special features and actually promoting packages and pricing. This page is really best suited for people who offer a product or service and only want to show details in an image. Once we get into the services and products page, you will be greeted with the option of either adding or removing the page. Click on add and update, and then you've got the option of other selecting services or products. Once you've selected services or products, you've got the option of adding either one to 10 products. So now choose how many you want to be displayed. Any information that you add here will be automatically displayed once you return to this page. Here we add the header text, which is a brief explanation of the page, services, or products. You also have the option of adding intro text, which is limited to 8,000 words. As a reminder, you can add images, text, lists, tables, basically anything you want in this section. This will be displayed above your actual services or products that you are promoting. Underneath that, you will see that we have added the activate and disable buttons which you should now be familiar with. You need to activate each product or service before you can edit or add the details. This is just so that you do not display products that you do not want to display. You are then given the option of adding three different fields. One is the name of the product or the service. The details of the product which you can once again add up to 8,000 words, and then the image of the actual product or service that you want to display. All these fields are required, so please bear in mind that for each product, you need an image. Once you are done adding all your products, or services, you simply click on the Add Update Services button. Any fields that are still disabled will not be displayed on your page, so please bear that in mind before continuing. We don't recommend leaving them disabled. As every number of products, you initially selected, would provide you with a page with that number of items. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.